Good morning, 8.30 service. My name is Victoria and I am so thrilled to be able to send you this message from Brazil. Big thank you to Pastor Jim who invited me to join you this morning. And for those of you who don't know me, I was a pastor at Walnut Hill for 15 years. And a year and a half ago, I, I left. My husband and I felt God was inviting us to come here to Brazil to be uh, part of what he is doing in this little village in the Northeast. And so this is where we are about to open an inn and trusting that God is at work in this place. And so I love the fact that you are in Hebrews. These are some of my favorite verses in the Bible. And it's fascinating that what God is teaching you in Connecticut, he has been teaching me right here in Brazil. You see, we sold our house in the US and uh, we were bringing the money over to uh, Brazil and with money laundering and all the rest of it, that can be kind of a complicated thing. And so we were in this process and it took forever. And when we began the process, the exchange rate was one thing and I had made all our projections and all our plans based on this exchange rate. And then by the time the money was released, the exchange rate had changed. In fact, the exchange rate had gone down. And I have to admit to feeling rather disappointed. And then I had to wonder why was I so disappointed? And so I went back to um, the word of God and what I realized was that I had put my faith in an outcome, not in a person that I had begun to believe that the way God would provide was through the exchange rate. I began to believe that the exchange rate was the proof of God's favor and his love over us, that I had begun to put my hope in the money, not in the one who can provide, who gave us life, who loves us. And suddenly I realized that I was putting my faith in the wrong place. And so today, as you dig in Hebrews 12, I believe that Jesus is giving us clarity on where to put our faith. See, Hebrews 12 says, fixing our eyes on Jesus. And if you go just before those words, it says, throw off the sin that entangles, throw off those things that keep us bound, persevere, trust, believe, sacrifice, walk with, seek after Jesus. Not the outcomes, not the things you'd expect, not the ways you would solve. You are not God. I am not God. He is. And isn't it incredible that we fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy set before him, persevered. For the joy set before him, sacrificed. For the joy set before him, he endured the cross for you and for me. Our faith is not in a set of understanding. It's not determined by whether this person is healed or that prayer is answered or we get our kids into this school, or life works out perfectly in this way. Our faith is not in outcomes, it's in a person. Where is your faith located? And it takes humility to say, as the psalmist says in Psalm 139, search me, O God, and know me. And maybe today there are things in your own heart that need a Lord. Am I trusting in the wrong thing? I fix my eyes on you. Forgive me. Teach me. I seek you. And I trust you with all my heart. May God bless you today.